do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied about what are the isomerism uh, that has been um, observed in alkane and yes we have uh, did an example uh, with that also so now we are going to do a new topic that is known as conformation and let us talk about conformation of ethane and how to represent it in terms of the conformation so let us do about that so now starting with uh, the conformation of ethane but before that to uh, move on with conformation of ethane we have to know that what is actually conformation means so let us understand what is actually conformation so conformation means the phenomenon of different spatial arrangements of atom that can be converted into one another by free rotation of atoms about carbon carbon single bonds is called as conformation so talking about uh, in a very simple language um, suppose if uh, suppose if we have considered a carbon carbon uh, single bond named as it as ethane so that is what we have taking an example so suppose if we have a molecule of ethane and uh, what we are doing is if we rotate uh, the uh, bond between carbon and carbon in such a manner that uh, the spatial arrangement of the atoms when it comes to the hydrogen because each carbon atom in case of the ethane will possess basically three hydrogen so therefore we should arrange uh, the hydrogens as well as uh, uh, the carbon atom that uh, that is being attached with the hydrogen in such a manner that uh, the rotation could take space and moreover we could say that uh, a free rotation could take space and that free rotation would be uh, it would be at infinite uh, uh, steps and uh, we could see that uh, and that free rotation could be in at infinite number and we could see that uh, the different spatial arrangement of the atoms can be converted into one another so therefore this is what that means when we are talking about conformation this could be better explained when we are taking uh, when we will take the example of uh, this case uh, that is when we will come to the conformation of ethane then it would be better to understand that uh, theory so this is basically known as conformation so where we could see the free rotation of atoms can be brought uh, in terms of the carbon carbon single bond so let us uh, move on with the further thing that what else we could find uh, when it comes to conformation So for that, let me give an example. Suppose if we have, the methane molecule to be in this manner, ethane molecule to be in this manner. So this is the carbon-carbon bond that we have observed here. So this carbon-carbon bond can be rotated in such a way that in this case because the hydrogens uh, are being attached to the carbon so this hydrogen that are being attached to the carbon are with a fixed bond length as well as uh, with a fixed angle so in this case what we are going to do is we are going to turn or we are going to rotate this carbon and carbon in such a manner that they will form a different arrangement of hydrogen in space so this is basically known as the conformation that we are doing so now this conformation that we have talked about and in this case because of the carbon and carbon uh, bond that is a single bond and in that place only the rotation will take space and because of which the conformation will happen the different kind of conformation that we are going to observe and because of which the conformation of uh, the ethane is been divided into two parts that is staggered conformation and eclipse conformation so these are the two main conformations that we could observe in ethane the first one is staggered conformation and the next one is that is eclipse conformation so let us discuss about each of it uh, in a very deep detail so talking about the first one that is staggered conformation let us talk about that so when we are talking about staggered conformation it is nothing but in this arrangement the hydrogen atoms attached to the two uh, carbon atoms are as far apart as possible so what does this mean so we have an example that i have talked uh, about this earlier also so suppose this is the example that we have to so 
So these are the two carbon atoms that we could see that suppose I will name it as carbon number one and carbon number two and suppose if I consider uh, any one hydrogen like this if this is the hydrogen and this is the hydrogen so now we are talking about this two hydrogens and during conformation what do we see we see that the rotation will take place uh, on this axis or we could say on the uh, carbon carbon single bond so it will take place in such a manner that where we could see that this hydrogen and this hydrogen will face uh, or, or uh, where are being more ap apart from each other they are more far apart from each other so that kind of uh, uh, position or the phenomenon where we make the hydrogen the two hydrogens to be far apart from each other make the staggered conformation so suppose if this are being apart from each other a very far apart so this is a 2d, 2D diagram that i have drawn so actually in 3d diagram they could be a very far apart from each other so that would make to be known as a staggered conformation so this is what we are going to explain when we are talking about in projection so when it will come towards the projection it would be very much easy for us to understand that what is actually staggered and what is actually uh, eclipsed so this is the one that we have uh, talked about a staggered conformation so let us understand what does the eclipse conformation means this is what we have got to know about the staggered conformation in which the both the hydrogens when we take in that example so in this case the both the hydrogens will stay away uh, far apart from each other when we are uh, uh, committed to uh, rotating the molecule or rotating the bond in this case of carbon and carbon so as to make a conformation so this is known as a staggered conformation that we have talked about so now let us understand what is actually eclipse conformation so for that we should know understand that what is actually eclipse conformation in terms of its definition or in terms of its meaning So eclipse conformation is nothing but uh, in this arrangement the hydrogen atoms attached to the two carbon atoms are close as possible. So this is what I will give an example uh, th about this only. So in this case suppose if this two hydrogen or any two hydrogens that we consider and because uh, while rotating um, any hydrogen suppose if I named it as suppose A, B, C and here it is also A, B, C. So while rotating HA of this carbon 1 can be in front of uh, uh, hb of carbon number 2 so this is possible and but while rotation of uh, while rotation on the axis that is while rotation on the carbon and carbon bond so it should happen in such a way that the hydrogens that is this hydrogen and this hydrogen should come very close to each other so if the both the hydrogens of the two different car of the two carbon atoms they come close to each other then that kind of conformation or that kind of position where they will acquire a less distance between them that would be said to be known as eclipsed conformation so that is known as eclipse conformation so this is what we have talked about the staggered and eclipse conformation with the example of ethane and um, yes we have also got to know that uh, the axis uh, where the rotation will take space is nothing but the carbon and carbon bond through which uh, the rotation will take space and it can take multiple uh, steps or it can take multiple angle of rotation uh, for which we could say that the conformation would have been attained uh, a staggered or would have attained a eclipse so there will be multiple angles that would uh, uh, be occupied between a eclipsed and a uh, staggered conformation so this is what we have drawn in a 2d diagram and we are not here now not able to uh, distinguish that how uh, we are uh, how we will discuss uh, staggered and eclipsed when it comes to the distance between hydrogen or uh, the conformation when it comes to uh, the rotation or whenever it comes to the distance between the two hydrogen so this is not can be explained in terms of uh, the 2d uh, diagram but we could uh, explain it with the help of the projections that were been done by uh, the newmans and uh, well as for sawhorse so these are two things that we are going to talk about so starting with the first one so now it is very much important for us to understand the representation of those conformation in a 2d diagram is very much important because uh, that would let us to understand that how and how actually uh, the conformation is uh, whether it is an eclipse or whether it is a sawhorse and moreover we could see that the stability of uh, the molecule can also be attained or can also be uh, get to know if uh, if we have made or we have represented uh, the conformation uh, by the following that we are going to represent uh, that we are going to uh, do right now that is 
the representation of conformation that we are going to discuss right now that is the two uh, methods to represent uh, the conformation of ethane for now that is sawhorse projection and Newman's projection. So these are the two kind of projections that helps out to understand what is staggered and what is eclipse conformation and what are the angles between uh, the two different um, hydrogens that are been attached to their respective carbon atoms. So talking about the first one uh, that is the sawhorse uh, projection and in this case we have taken an example of ethane so therefore we will talk about the sawhorse projection of ethane so which says that in this representation the carbon carbon bond which is being viewed that would be viewed from an oblique angle which indicates spatial arrangement by showing all the carbon and hydrogen bond so the thing is the sawhorse projection is of different kind it is not of a regular type that we have drawn here so let me give in uh, a, a preview that we have did earlier so this is what we have drawn uh, on a 2d paper and this the, this represents uh, the hydrogen carbon and hydrogen bond but uh, this is not the proper uh, this is not the proper representation so, so as we could discuss that uh, which one is so uh, which one is uh, basically staggered and which one is eclipsed so for that sawhorse has made a projection and which have a particular uh, criteria so as to make the projection to draw on a 2d diagram or, or, or to, draw on, uh, to draw on a 2d page that is the criteria is it should have an oblique angle from which all the carbon and hydrogen bonds can be viewed and this oblique angle makes the sawhorse projection to be unique than that of the one that we normally draw so suppose if we have made the arrangement in such a manner that is for uh, ethane and we have to do uh, in a such a uh, such a manner that it should look like an oblique angle that we have saw so suppose we have the structure of ethane as this one So this is the one that uh, it consists of methyl group. So suppose if I have attached with this one, if you could see. So this is nothing but sawhorse position. As we could see that uh, uh, it is not a normal uh, structure that we draw in this manner, but it has a, uh, a bit of oblique angle that makes all the atoms that are being showcased in this thing that is when it comes to carbon hydrogen or when it comes to carbon and carbon the all the bonds are being showcased in this case and since we are dealing with uh, the eclipsed and staggered and the both are being related with the distance or uh, with the distance of the other atoms that is uh, the hydrogen in this case because the carbon are in, are in a fixed position that they could rotate but uh, the hydrogen atoms they could change that place uh, in terms of a particular angle so therefore in this case this projection is known to be uh, that is a sawhorse projection so so talking about the eclipsed form and the um, that is staggered form so the let us talk about the uh, first of all the staggered form uh, so for that we can make an a uh, particular representation like this one that i'm going to draw now so this is how i represent uh, the methyl group when it comes to for an ethane and uh, for this suppose if this is a bond of uh, carbon and carbon that i have made here and uh, this is the carbon and to represent in a staggered form so we know that uh, in staggered form the hydrogen atoms are very far apart from each other so in this case i could make the distance or i could make the arrangement in such a manner that if we could see or if we could imagine in a 3d diagram then we could see that this hydrogen which is present over here so that is basically so this hydrogen which is present over here that will be far apart from this hydrogen that it is so they are both opposite of each other and we could also see that this hydrogen is far apart from this that would be far apart from each other and that makes this conformation to be called as staggered staggered conformation so and with respect to this hydrogen also this hydrogen would be crossing or it would uh, 
when it comes to a proper angle then this hydrogen would when we make an axis towards it when passing through so therefore this would pass towards the uh, angle that the mid angle between this hydrogen this carbon carbon this carbon hydrogen and this carbon hydrogen, this hydrogen will pass through it if we take if we make an axis so therefore that will make the hydrogen to be a very far distance from each other and moreover we could see that the the two hydrogens the two hydrogens of different carbon atoms in this case they won't be near to each other they will be a bit far from each other or compared to that of the this one that we have this is basically an example of eclipsed how because in eclipse as we have got to know that the distance between the hydrogen of the two hydrogen atoms of the different carbon atom that we have represented so they will be very close to each other as far as possible so in this case as you could see that this hydrogen which is present in carbon number a suppose i would say and this is carbon number b suppose in that case so this hydrogen and this hydrogen are very near to each other or we could say that uh, the arrangement in this case is very in this manner so they will be very near to each other when it comes to the eclipse form but what happens when we comes to uh, when we represent about staggered form so therefore the one carbon will be here while the other carbon will be here and the both are suppose in the same axis that, that you could see so in staggered form what happens they will a bit a far apart from each other they will make an angle in this manner so therefore they will have a far distance compared to the dis this distance they have so that will make the staggered form while this to be known as the eclipsed conformation so now we have discussed about the eclipse term. Continuation mode. Okay. Continuation mode is what? Continuation. Now we have did the Sawhorse uh, projection formula or we could say the Sawhorse uh, projection uh, for ethane. So now let us discuss about the next projection that is Newman projection of ethane. So there are some few criteria in this case also so as to represent uh, the eclipsed and the staggered form uh, when it comes to the conformation of ethane. So in this case, in this representation basically the carbon-carbon bond is viewed directly and on and represents two carbon atoms by a circle. The bond attached to the front carbon atom are shown by lines drawn from the center of a circle and bonds attached to the rear carbon atom are shown by the lines drawn from the edge of the circle. So this is what I want to explain. So so this is what we have did for the sawhorse and here we could see that this carbon and this carbon they are uh, bonded with each other and in this case the rotation will happen. So suppose if we rotate in such a manner so that this could form a staggered again the staggered can be rotated again and the eclipse can be formed so this will process will go on and in that case multiple angles would be formed and that is nothing known as the conformation and most uh, specifically one would be staggered and one would be purely uh, eclipsed so now let us uh, talk about newman so newman uh, have position form is quite quite different from that of the uh, Sawhorse uh, position formula in which the Sawhorse give us more detail but in this case of um, Newman there are few credits that we have to follow and because of which we have will get uh, few information that we know. For example what does it say that suppose this point is the first carbon atom or the carbon atom that has been uh, in front of us because there are two carbon atoms when it comes to ethane that is first and second and in this projection what they are mentioning is the one would be in our front in uh, near to us and while the other would be far apart uh, far from us that is basically the rear carbon atom so this is the front carbon atom that we have while talking about this circle will represent the carbon atom that will be on the rear that is um, far apart from a person's view or so in this case basically this is the carbon again this is also the carbon atom and to represent because the two uh, the two carbons are being represented in this case according to the Newman's projection formula we could say so now what we are going to do is we are going to represent the hydrogens so therefore the hydrogens will make an angle in such a way that uh, they will pass through the point When it comes to the first hydrogen and 
So this is the first hydrogen that is uh, in front of us. This is not the rear one. So the front uh, carbon has three hydrogen as we could see. And this circle represents the uh, second uh, carbon atom through which the uh, hydrogen would be also we have to represent that. So suppose for that hydrogen we are representing it in this manner. So this is how we have represented. So this doesn't give the uh, we can't see the carbon carbon bond length here. But uh, what we could have mentioned it we have mentioned it through a point and through a circle uh, the, the the symbolization of the carbon in this case while this bond that is represent that I have drawn in a blue uh, pen basically marker so this represents the hydrogen that is being attached to the front carbon atom while this uh, red uh, line that I have drawn so this represents the hydrogen that is uh, of the rear carbon atom and we could so now in this case what we could see uh, this hydrogen that has been uh, this one that is the red one and uh, the hydrogen that is basically now which is in front of us is basically the blue one so what will happen is this hydrogen that is in front of you and this hydrogen that is in uh, that is uh, far apart from you so now if they are having this much of angle as you could see so therefore this is now would be said to be uh, staggered conformation because this hydrogen and this hydrogen they both are apart uh, far apart from each other and uh, moreover we could say that they don't collide on each other when it comes to a, an uh, angle so the angle don't collide so they are very far apart from each other so this is how we represent staggered but talking about eclipse so uh, let us draw for eclipse also so this is the one so suppose if we have rotated we can rotate this uh, uh, carbon carbon bond angle and such a manner that the position will be now this one so suppose this is the carbon which has three hydrogen that is the first carbon atom which has three hydrogen and this is the second carbon that has been denoted by the circle that i have drawn here and in this case basically the hydrogen that we have it should be very close to each other uh, close to the two hydrogen so therefore i have drawn a hydrogen over here here and here I could have drawn uh, because it is a 2D page, so we cannot draw uh, just back to this hydrogen. So therefore, there should be certain uh, re while representing it, there should be certain gap so that it should be showcase uh, showcased to you. And uh, so now this is basically now called to be eclipsed, eclipsed conformation. So the thing is remaining the same. Uh, suppose if this is the front uh, uh, that is. Uh, carbon atom that we have and uh, this is the back carbon atom that we have that consists of hydrogen and this is hydrogen and if the both are in a same angle that we see or uh, they will uh, basically uh, make in a such an they are arranged in such an element that they are on the same axis and making a bond angle of zero so now they are now pure that is eclipsed and when they are making a bond angle like this then that would be stagger form so this is the projection that newman and uh, that sawhouse have made so as to express the staggered and the eclipse conformation on a um, two dimensional paper or two dimensional plane so this were the two conformation that i was uh, talking about when it comes to an example of ethane so these are the projection that i have wanted to represent so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got various ideas to understand that how can we represent the conformation of ethane or, or how can we represent ethane in this projections so thank you for watching this video i hope you have understood this video and you will share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe to channel. thank you so much